Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull here. Every small business owner dream is having their product go viral. Imagine having millions of eyeballs looking at your product. But how many sales can you expect from a viral video? How long does it last? And how can you extend it? And most importantly, how do you even go viral in the first place? My product went viral four times this past year, and I would love to show you with full transparency the results. So when your product goes viral, you know what to expect. So let's see. All right, so on the left, we have our TikTok account, and on the right, we have our Shopify analytics. And we're gonna use this to compare when the product goes viral, how many sales did it produce? We did posted a bunch of different videos before just trying different things, but this is the first one that actually got some impressions. So let's check it out here on the left. And in the meantime, let's check out the analytics. So this video was posted on March 3rd. And as you can see here before, we were getting around $200 and $300 per day in sales. But suddenly on March 3rd, boom, $1,800. Then the following day, $1,600. And then it decreased a little bit to 900, 951, and then it died, all right? But what I often notice on Instagram and TikTok, when you go viral, then after the first spike, you know, there's a drop and then there's normally a bounce. They serve the video to other audiences, you know, it just expands. And here you can see the bounce. And this happens on almost every video. Now this was the sales, but let's see how much traffic it brought to the site. So let's scroll down here. All right, right here. So we were getting around between 200 and 300 visitors per day. And suddenly 2,200 visitors, you know, and then it dropped and then a little bounce. Okay. So I'm going to calculate how much this video sold. Okay. And I'm also going to calculate how much will it have cost me to have this amount of exposure, this many views, if I were to use ads. This viral video lasted 12 days and it sold $6,700. Okay, and that's after extracting the normal $200, $300 that we sell per day. And how much will it have cost me if I run ads? So let's see, this video got 1.9 million views and it was served to 58% United States. So that will be 1.9 million United States views. With a TikTok traffic campaign with a CPM of around $2.50 per thousand impressions, 1.1 million impressions will have cost me $2,750. Now you have to know that this video was served to everybody, all right? Normally when you create ads, you target specific groups of people. There's probably a bunch of 13, 14, 15 year olds that saw this video, but on my traffic campaigns, I will never target these ages, right? But just so you get an idea, $2,750. But you might be asking, what happened here? Did it bounce again? Well, no, but you have to milk the videos as much as you can. This video is a really good presentation of my product and it's already been proven that people like it. So the only logical thing to do is turn this video into ads. So what I did is I took that video and turned it into ads, but I didn't change absolutely anything. I just put that same video, you know, with the targeting on the ads. And you can see here the increase. I expanded the time frame a little bit from February 1st to April 28th. So we have a little bit more of a holistic view of what happened. Now we were selling about $300. Then we got the spy, we sold about $1,000 per day, 1,600. Then the bounce, we sold about $500 for a few days. And then here's when I started the ads. You see $300 and then boom, 700, 800, 900, you know, some days $1,000. No, and it kind of went like that. I was spending between $100 and $200 per day in TikTok ads, all right? And these ads continue to run for a couple more months and it produced consistent sales. But there's a point where ad fatigue kicks and then the ads stop performing as well the cost per acquisition started getting higher and higher. And then it got to a point that I had other videos that were performing better. So I had to stop it. On this channel, I have videos about TikTok and Facebook ads, and I show you how to run them very profitably. And I will continue to add a lot more. So subscribe if you're interested in that and check them out if you're interested. But now let's check the next viral video. Before I show you the next viral video, I want to show you what happened and what we did after this first viral, because there was a little bit of success along the way. 
Of course, this video brought a lot of new followers and we had to do something thanking the community and trying to actually build a community around our product. You know, this is just a video that we did after we went viral, just saying thank you and stuff. And we just continue to add a bunch of videos. We got like 300 views on this one, 300,000, right? And continue, continue. We just posted a bunch. Not every video goes viral. This one actually got 6.2 million views, which is a lot more than the other one, but we're not even going to focus on that one. Uh, let's just keep going. So normally you see we get around 10,000 to 50,000 views per video sometimes, you know, 500,000 sometimes right here. But this just shows you that not every video goes viral. You know, you just have to be real with your audience. And this is the next video that actually went really viral and it got 15.7 million views, which to me, for me, it's a lot, right? And uh, let's just check out the analytics. So this was posted on August 8th. I have the time frame here from July 15th to August 31st, so about a month and a half. Around this time, we were selling around $500, $700 per day. We were having ads and also, you know, our business was, you know, growing. Uh, more people knew about our business. So we got some sales. So when the video went viral on August 8th, boom, $2,500. This video started to get viral at midnight. So the effect was a little bit delayed. And you can see here on August 8th and then boom, August 12th, a pretty big spike and then followed by a drop. And this video also went viral on Instagram. It got like around 6 million to 8 million views. And you can see the drop for a couple of days and then the next bounce. So, and then it just continue, it decrease a little bit and it just stay like for around a thousand dollars for a, for a few more weeks. But how much did this video actually sold and how much money will it have cost me to run ads for all those views? 15.7 million views and 55% US. I always calculate only the US because the traffic from other countries, I don't really consider it because, you know, these people will see the product, but they will not buy it. Okay. Because the shipping is too expensive and maybe the change of currency makes it extremely expensive for them. So this got 8.6 million American views with a CPM of around $3 because it was more expensive during this time than before. It will have cost me $25,800 right on ads. Let's see how much it sold and see if it will have been worth it. Now for a period of 10 days, it sold $33,500. Now this video actually continued to sell, you know, organically for a few more weeks, but the bulk of the views and the bulk of the sales were here in these 10 days. If I had made ads with this video, it would have brought positive ROI. Because of course I will only target, you know, the ages that I want and also, you know, the segments of people that are interested in what this product does. So what can we learn from this data? Well, normally on Instagram and TikTok, when a video goes viral, you can expect sales for three days, little drop, then a bounce, and in total for about 10 days of, you know, good sales. And then it will be followed by a long tail, you know, a little bit, little bit every time but the vast majority would be on 10 days. You can and definitely should extend the life of successful videos by using ads. And something very important, not every viral video sells the same. My product is kind of niche, so not every people will buy this. But if your product is more general, maybe you will sell a lot more. Also, the type of product, the design from one of the viral videos was more appealing to a larger audience than the other, and I could see that it sold a lot more. Also, the price of your product is very important. My product is $25, so it falls into the impulse buy range. If you have a much more expensive product, maybe it goes viral because it's really cool, but the audience of TikTok, maybe they don't have the capital to purchase it. You know, so there will be variations, but this is just so you get an idea, you know, how, how long the virality lasts. But the question is, how do we even go viral in the first place? Well, here are some tips that I learned by trial and error. Starting with tip number one. Make sure that the first three seconds of your video shows something interesting or unexpected. The hook is extremely important. Tip number two. Trim out as much as you can. Don't add any fillers. A six to 15 second video works great on these platforms. Tip number three. Check the analytics of every video so you know what's working. Your average watch time has to be greater than the length of the video. And if watch full video percentage is higher than 55%, 
you have a big chance of success. Tip number four. Be careful when adding product links. I noticed that TikTok limits the reach when you add product links. Instagram, however, increases your reach because they get a commission on every sale that you make through the Instagram platform. You know that Instagram is turning into a shopping app. They are trying really hard to do it. But tip number five, do not say link in bio. TikTok doesn't want viewers to leave the app and trust me, they know that you said it. They have speech recognition. Tip number six, don't try to go viral every single time. Have fun creating your videos and show your product in interesting and honest ways. Your followers will love to see that there is a real person behind the products that they buy and the companies that they support. I hope that this video gave you an idea of how virality affects sales, but I would really want to know, have you ever gone viral? How many views did you get? And also how many sales did you get? Please share it in the comments. I would love to see it. And I will of course respond to every comment and every question. Here are some videos that might be of interest to you. I talk about e-commerce, marketing, ideas, you know, so, Follow me if you are interested in this stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out.